Hi guys, hope you're all doing well and welcome back to our series of AAD Connect and in this video we are going to talk about how you can create custom sync rules. So in the last video we have discussed about connector configuration and we have discussed most of the options available on synchronization rule editor console. The agenda of this video will be knowing how you can create custom sync rules and there are three use cases which I'm going to discuss. The first one will be the members of a specific group should not be synced to Azure Active Directory. User objects with a specific attribute value should not be synced to Azure Active Directory. And the last one is the attribute flow mapping. How you can send different values to different attributes. Now let's move on with our first use case wherein member of a specific group should not be synced to Azure Active Directory. Since this will be a complete lab demo session, I'm going to switch to my machine where I have installed Azure AD Connect. Now before we go ahead and create synchronization rule, I would like to show you what will be our end goal. So I have a group named as sync object and it has multiple members. And out of all the users, only this user does not belong to this particular group. So that means once we will create our synchronization rule, custom rule, all these objects will be filtered, whereas only user object will be synced to Azure Active Directory. But before we do that, let's just verify whether right now all these user objects are getting synced or not. And as you can see, both the connectors are getting listed and there is no attribute named as cloud filtered. Let's verify this for one more object. And yes, all these objects are getting synced. Now, once we will create the rule only for user object named as user, we will see these two connectors. Otherwise, for rest of the users, there will be only one connector and that will be local AD. And there will be one more attribute getting listed here, which will be cloud filtered set to true. So without any ado, I have launched synchronization rule editor. I've selected this option of inbound. And now I'm going to click on this option which says add new rule. I'm going to name this rule as let's say group uh, filtering and then we'll proceed with the configuration. So in the connected system, I'm going to select my local AD. In the connected system object type, I'm going to select user because we are creating this rule for user object. And since the user object gets mapped to person in metaverse, I have selected person. In the link type, I have selected join. And in the precedence, let's give it a value 10. Now I'm going to click on next. Now this is the most important part of this particular rule that we are going to create because we are going to define a scope. That means if a user is in this particular group, then it should not be synced. So for that, what I'm going to do is I'm in the attribute list, I'm going to select the option of DN. In the operator, I'm going to select the option of is member of and in the value, I'm going to paste the value of my groups DN. So for that, what I'll do is I'll launch attribute editor of this particular group and then I'm going to copy this value in this particular rule. And then I'll click on next. I'm not going to add any join condition and I'll again click on next. In the transformation section, I'm going to say flow type should be constant. And what you have to do is set cloud filtered attribute value to be true. That's all I'm going to do right now. And I'll click on add. Now, once this rule is added, I'm just going to initiate a sync process just to see we are getting the required results or not. And I'm going to initiate a full sync. So I've initiated the full sync process. Once this process is completed, we'll resume the video. So as you guys can see that the sync process is completed now, we'll go back to Metaverse and we'll click on search. Now as per our rule, this object should not be synced to Azure Active Directory and as you can see 
that cloud filtered attribute is set to true the rule which is contributing this value is our rule which we have just created and in the connector section there is only one connector getting listed which is of our local ad but if we go ahead and check the same property of that particular user which is not in scope of our rule we'll find that this object is right now getting synced so as per the rule that we have created, all the users which were in sync scope, that means all these users, AIP, Enter, IDP, and MFA, and in fact, no sync, these are all users which are not getting synced to Azure Active Directory. And as you can see, for no sync as well, I'm getting a cloud filtered attribute set to true, and there is only one connector. So this is how you can filter objects based on a particular group membership now I'm going to delete this rule and I'm going to run a full sync again so that we can come back to our initial stage and then we'll move on with our next use case so our next use case is cloud filtered attribute should be set to true based on a specific attribute value now how we are going to do this is let me show you our end goal first. So we are actually going to target this particular user object, which is named as no sync. And as you can see in the description section, it has a value called no sync. So we'll create a rule that will only target this particular user. And then the cloud filtered attribute for this particular user will be set to true. Now, since we have deleted our previous rule let's just go ahead and check that whether now this user is in sync scope or not and as you can see this user is again getting synced to azure active directory and there is no attribute here named as cloud filtered so we'll go back to our synchronization rule editor and again direction should be inbound i'll click on add new rule and this is something wherein i will name it as attribute filtering Connected system type will be again my local AD domain, which is conceptswork.com. And here I'm going to select user. And in the metaverse object type, it is per person. In the precedence, I'm going to type this time, let's say 20, and I'll click on next. Now, again, scoping is very important because we are targeting a particular user object. So, what we are going to mention here that if for any user object, the description attribute value is no sync then what you have to do is you have to set cloud filtered set to true in the join section I'm not going to make any change and in the transformation section I'm just going to add the same attribute value which will be cloud filtered as a constant value to be true that's all I'm going to do and I've clicked on add and we'll again initiate a full sync. So once the sync process is completed, only this object, which is no sync, should not be synced to the cloud. Otherwise, all the objects should be synced to the cloud. So once this process is completed, we'll resume the video. So as you guys can see that the sync process is completed and we'll go back to metaverse and now we'll open this option of no sync and as you can see the cloud filter is set to true and the sync rule which is contributing this value is the rule which we have just created for other users i don't think yeah and as you can see that cloud filtered attribute is not getting listed whereas there are two connectors but for no sync there is only one connector that means this object is now not getting synced to azure active directory now let's move on with our third use case wherein we will be mapping attribute values this is the easiest use case and it is very simple what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on add a new rule and I'm just going to define attribute mapping. What do I mean by this? That a value of a particular attribute will get copied to some other attribute in metaverse. That's all I'm going to do. So again, I'm going to name this rule as attribute mapping and here I'm going to select local AD. 
here again I'm going to select user because I'm targeting user objects and here I'm going to select person and this time let's give a precedence of uh, 30 we'll click on next I'm not going to add any scoping filter because uh, there are very less number of users in my test environment but if you want you can add a scoping filter as well and no changes in the join section the only change which I'm going to do in that is in the transformation and let's say what I want to do is I want to query the attribute value let's say of company attribute from my local AD and then it should be sent as extension attribute 14 now as you can see it is listing here targeting attribute this means this is for metaverse and this is the attribute that is coming from local AD so if I go back to my AD for this user object for which I have already populated the value named as test once this rule is created and a sync is completed what we'll observe that for the user enter there will be an attribute in metaverse named as extension attribute 14 that will contain value called test so i've added the rule i will initiate a sync and will resume the video once this sync process is completed so as you guys can see that the sync process is completed now and uh, we'll go and check this user object named as enter and as you can see that I'm getting a value now which is extension attribute 14 and that has been contributed by the rule which we have just created. Now there is one more thing which I would like to show you guys and that is for this particular user let's say for MFA as you can see that there is no value right now present in this company attribute. So if we will try to search this user in metaverse, there will be no company attribute as well as no extension attribute referencing to the rule which we have just created because null valued attributes are not queried. So this was all about uh, this particular video wherein we have discussed three use cases, how you can configure filtering based on a group. How you can configure filtering based on an attribute and then the attribute flow mapping in the next video we are going to talk about types of groups in azure active directory if you guys have learned something new please feel free to subscribe if you have any feedback query or suggestion please feel free to reach me at learnconceptswork at gmail.com thank you so much guys thanks for your time